Hello and um, welcome back. <laughs> it's been a hot minute um, since I've done one of these. I've started last year. I did one on sort of just before New Year's and then I filmed New Year's and then and then I disappeared for ages because loads has been happening. So and as I'm sure you've seen in the last kind of year and a half or over that now um, the location of me changing, uh, the location of me filming has been changing all the time because I have been living in a lot of places. I've been moving around um, and really struggled to find somewhere permanent to live. But and this has been it's been crazy. I've been working a lot of really fun stuff that I haven't been able to show you other than now because it's out. Or maybe I'll start with this. Let's do a little bit of a rundown of what I did last year. I did, I was in Ted Lasso, as some of you may have seen, I'll insert some photos here, that was really amazing, um, working with Jason Sudeikis and everyone's just an incredible, incredible um, just journey, I was there for most of last year, the season three, the last season is now out uh, and I played a journalist, so that was really fun. I was in something that's not coming out till October so you're going to have to wait for that, I was in... Uh, you on Netflix that was amazing working with, with in Warner Brothers Studios was incredible I was in Grace for ITV as well so I did that there is other things I can't remember I've also filmed a few things this year as well that I'm not allowed to talk about yet um, I have done loads of really cool modeling jobs uh, I did a, a couple of shoots with 19 crimes we did one in Bristol and then we did one in Cardiff as well yes that's right um, me and Lewis filmed a music video, I'm sure you've seen that already, but that was out. What else has been happening? Yes, a lot. Oh, I've presented a gala, um, I've been at different radio stations, I've changed radio stations. I'm actually now with Voice FM here in Southampton because we moved from Brighton to Southampton, so I'll be showing you a little bit more of that as well. And yeah, it's just been madness. Um, we moved to, to Southampton at the beginning of this year and had an absolute nightmare with it. Could not find anywhere to live uh, for good mom, good good half of the year. So that was that was great. But it doesn't matter because we've got somewhere that we absolutely love now. We're really happy and settled. It's a bit different to Brighton. It's still great for other reasons. We really love being close to the Isle of Wight and um, it's still fine for me commuting to work as well to London. So um, yes, I'm gonna try to do these monthly vlogs where I just kind of talk about a few things that I've been working on and the, the things that I'm allowed to talk about. I'll take you to the radio with me. Uh, I don't know, I'm, I'm doing a really cool um, TV advert tomorrow, but I don't know if I'm allowed to show you what it is. I haven't signed an NDA yet, so We'll find out. I'll take you with me to London. Anyway, I'll be just showing you little bits and bobs of what my life looks like. Um, and also, I wanted to show you the house as well. To be honest with you, I've been filming and it's really, really messy. You can see my setup behind me. Uh, I might show you just the bathroom maybe for now. I'll just do that and I'll show you the rest of the rooms when they are ready. I'm not going to show you outside because I don't want anyone figuring out where I live to start with, but... Um, it's a little but a really nice bathroom it has got I still need to get a couple of things like I want to get some plants for down there um, that needs a renewing to like a nice hand wash there's still other things at the top there needs to be some more plants up there um, but we have got a little bath there's a little I've got a little set up here and I've wanted one of these for so long I don't know why I've never bought myself one but I've been absolutely absolutely loving it and I've been reading in the bath and just chilling and it's been wonderful so that is one of the rooms I will show you the other rooms when they are tidy um, but if not I'll take you with me tomorrow anyway good morning it is bright and early it is about quarter to seven in the morning and I am in Elf Court. Uh, I'm just heading heading my way to the shoot. Um, I'm working on a commercial so if it's already out I will show you the result. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, um, it is the next day, Thursday. 
Uh, yesterday was so much fun. It was like one of the best shoots I've ever worked on. Really great. I got home about 10 p.m. So not that bad actually uh, for a shoot day. Although I, I was up since four, so it's still a still a long day. But usually, probably get home a bit later than that. Um, to be honest. And if it is out, I'm gonna insert it here. And if it's not out, then I won't. <laughs> uh, I have got the worst headache known to man. I have got the full on migraine. Uh, I'm gonna throw up. I'm shaking, I'm sweating. I feel great, no idea why. It's been quite a stressful day today. I have been at home, but yeah, it's been stressful regardless. And yeah, the show must go on. It's good to town to pick up some work stuff that needs to be done tomorrow and then I'm going, I'm going to go to the radio so it's half six in the evening now um, I tried to have a nap to make it better it didn't make it better and probably won't be home till at half eleven at night something like that so yeah and I haven't even been able to eat anything because I feel awful like I feel like you can actually see the sweat on my head but anyway Let's go to the radio. Woo! <laughs> Sorry. You're having a you're, uh, you're getting you? buzzed on for the I show. Am, am. He's ready. This is, this is just the best thing I've ever done this station. <laughs> oh the rock show? Yes, this. this is great. <laughs> Kickstart my heart and kicking off my very first show here at Voice FM. My name's Ola and this is Rock Ola. We're gonna be here every Thursday playing some awesome heavy rock tunes. Today as well, I've got Zan here, a, a fellow presenter. We're gonna be asking him some questions as well. We're gonna be talking about music, we're gonna be playing some great music. I have made it to Friday. Yesterday was so much fun. It was, honestly, the show was amazing. I highly recommend tuning in every Thursday from nine to 11. It was just so wonderful. I had so much fun. I was there with a co-presenter, Zan, uh, and we just had loads of fun. It was it was so so awesome. Um, I'll leave the link down below as well if you want to check it out. Got home about half eleven, something like that, and then I couldn't sleep. Like it was really hot. Um, could not sleep at all. And then at about 4am I just gave up and got up for a couple of hours and tried to go back to sleep. My migraine is still here today, it's nowhere near as bad though, which I'm really grateful for that. But still, it's annoying because this, it's been like over 24 hours now, but it, it happens sometimes, so it, just, it is what it is. I'm sure the lack of sleep has not helped. So today uh, I am shooting some content for Waitrose, so some, some UGC content, so, so it's user generated content and it's basically content to go up on Waitrose socials, website, that sort of thing, videos, it's really fun. If it's up again I will try to uh, insert it here so you can see what it looks like. So it's a nice chilled day today, went to Waitrose, did the shop, came back, I've been filming it, I'm going to be editing for the rest of the day. There is a gig on tonight that I would like to go to uh, at The Hobbit in Southampton, however I am super tired and just got so much on at the moment, I feel like what I really need is a nice chilled evening so I'm going to be working till probably about 7 or 8 tonight and then I'm going to have a bath, I'm going to read, I'm going to sleep, I'm going to do a face mask, it's going to be wonderful. So I think that's that's going to benefit me better um, than going out because I know if I go out I'm going to end up having a couple of Guinnesses, feeling even worse tomorrow. Instead I'm going to stay and drink mint tea and be sensible because next week is crazy. This weekend it's fairly chilled, it's mostly filming at home. Next week it's going to be crazy but I'm excited to bring you along anyway so that's it. <laughs> This dress is like full on falling out. But we are off to White Palms. I haven't been before, but how many times have you played? Do you play like every year? Or? Yeah, it's only now, probably like four or five. <laughs> That's quite a lot. Uh, yeah, and there's gonna be. There's a dog. There's a dog on the boat. There's gonna be some comedians. You know, Sean Walsh is gonna be there. Do you remember who else? No. Some other comedians. We're playing. But you're playing, it's gonna be sick. And um, tomorrow we've got a wedding on the island. So. The boys are rehearsing. I'm just at the back. Can I read some book? <laughs> Utilize my free time. Quick little insight. How weird is that? 
What is it? Nobody knows. Nobody knows. I said, what is it? Hello, it is the 23rd of August and I am still suffering with a little bit of burnage. <laughs> Doesn't look so bad on my knees now. I did burn my knees, my calves, my shins, my feet and my chest this weekend. So don't get a point for that because it was a, a rather large error. I try not to do that, but I just had too much fun and I had too much to, uh, other things to think about. Um, and clearly, SPF wasn't one of them. I always wear SPF on my face and on my neck, but for some reason I didn't put any on my chest or my legs. My legs never burn, my legs never tan. So I'm just finishing off work for the day. I've got some soup waiting for me. I've still got a couple of things to do. It's 7 p.m. I have I've filmed loads of stuff today, I've pre-recorded my show for tomorrow for the radio. Yeah, just had a very good productive day and I am going to get ready in a minute because in the morning I'm going to London to shoot a Christmas advert. I don't think I'm allowed to tell you anything. I'm not allowed to tell you the concept, but I really want to because it's really, really cool. But yeah, obviously we're going to have to wait till before Christmas until you get to see it, which is a bit sad, but it's all part of the game. And also, these vlogs are going to be a great way of me checking back to what I've done because sometimes I have such busy weeks and I forget. I forget what projects I've actually worked on. So at least we're not going to do that. But yes, I'm going to take you with me in the morning anyway. I don't know how much I'll be able to show you, but I'll take you with me anyway. The least I'll show you what I've eaten on set. I feel like that's just like the most exciting, exciting part of working in TV is the food. So at least... I'll get to show you what I've eaten if I don't eat it too fast and forget, but yeah, let's go to London. I have approximately like a minute and a half until I need to leave the house but today it's Saturday the 26th I want to say of August I don't even know it's the end of August that's all I need to know and today I am um, heading to Southampton Pride and I'm actually presenting I'm going to be doing some broadcasting live from the parade and I'm going to be interviewing some people as well so a very fun day ahead um, indeed but anyway I better get going because, as I said, I just need to leave, like right now. Right here on Southampton Pride, the parade has just begun. As you can hear, there's whistles, there's screaming, there's music, there's absolutely everything here and everyone's ready to celebrate. We're going to follow the parade and interview some individuals as well and talk to them about this wonderful event and what it is they love about it. I'm back. I am absolutely knackered. I'm about to lose my voice, but I'm back. It did rain as well, so I was a little bit soaked. Um, and it was very loud, so a lot of shouting. So I need to save my voice uh, for next week and to make myself nice lemon and ginger tea. Uh, but oh, that was such an amazing day. So amazing, so many amazing people. The event was just, yeah, it was wonderful. And yes, I am back now 
I'm gonna get on with some work and I'm also gonna have a bath because I feel like I need it. Yeah, um, I think that's it for this week. I'm at home tomorrow, I've got some work to do because I've had a very exciting email yesterday. I can't tell you what it is, unfortunately. You're gonna have to wait for the next vlog, but some really exciting news uh, are coming your way. So that's it. I'm gonna carry on working for the rest of the week, and we've still got a couple of days left of this month, so I'll be taking you along to whatever I do, and that's it. Let's go get my tea on. Look at my beautiful lunch. We've got Roasted spicy butternut squash, mackerel, eggs, olives, salad, cheese, and some other vegetables and things. Not what my dinner is going to look like, but I know we'll be filming it because I'll be trying something very English for the first time. And this is my dinner. Lewis has finally made me what is it? Turkey dinosaurs, waffles, and spaghetti hoops, but we have pepper pig hoops. <laughs> I've never had it before, although I've lived in this country for almost 20 years. So I'm excited. I'm nervous, but excited. We'll find out if my stomach can actually handle it. It is Thursday, the 31st of August. I did enjoy my turkey dinosaurs yesterday and the potato waffles. They were so much nicer than I expected them to be. And so were the, um, what are they called? Spaghetti hoops. But we had pepper pig ones. They were still great. Um, I'm going to wrap this vlog up here because a new month starts tomorrow. I was supposed to go to Brighton tomorrow, however, all trains have been cancelled for the next two days, so that's not happening and I'm just going to the radio tonight. So I've already showed you what that looks like, so there's no point me taking uh, you with me again today. Taking you with me, yes that's right, uh, but I will, be, I will be vlogging again next month to show you a little bit more of kind of what my life looks like behind the scenes so i hope you have enjoyed this video give it a big thumbs up subscribe if you haven't yet any comments you have leave them down below and i'll be doing these every month just to show you a little bit of like behind the scenes of the things that i do and yeah how my life is going i'll see you in my next one bye